system is called weighted least connection load balancing algorithm. So here we do some sort of modification in the previous algorithm. So like the weighted round robin method, each server is given the numeric value. The load balancer uses this when allocating requests to servers. Full list of if two server have the same number of active connection, then server with the highest weight will be allocated the new request. Now weight will be taken into place whenever there is there is the there is the scenario where two server have the same active connection in, in that time weight is coming into the picture so about the weight we know that in the round robin how we have given the weight based on the server capacity we give the weight so let's assume that we have a server this is a uh, server number one let's say we have another server this is server number two. Let's say we have another server. Let's say this is server number three. The weight will be given to the server number one as let's say four. The weight will be given to server number two is let's say one. The weight will be given to server number three is let's say two. Okay. And what is the active request here? The active request here is let's say uh, five. The active request here is let's say uh, seven. The active request here is let's say five. Now, if a new request is coming to the load balancer, a new request is coming, right? New request. Now, how this new request will be fulfilled by the load balancer? So load balancer will see the weight as well as the active. So first it will see the active which is having the least active. So it, it find out that server one and server three, both are having the same least active transaction or request. Now, it is tie, right? It is tie in the least, uh, in the active uh, transaction. So it will take the help of the weight. Now here the weight is four and here the weight is two. So now the request will go to the highest request. So that new request, that particular new request will be assigned to server number one, even though server number one and server number two has same active request, right? It will go to server number one. Why? Because the weight of the server number one is high than the weight of the server number three. So I hope you understood this weighted least connection load balancing algorithm. So as you can see here, here we provide the weight also. So this is the weight, two, three, four are the weights given. Two, three, four are, are the weights given. And the least, so here, here when the active transaction are different, then this weight will not be taken into consideration. If active transaction is, is same, then the weight will be given into the consideration. 